Difficulty breathing or breathing discomfort affects around 4% of world population. It's huge number actually. Let's explain what is most common cause of difficulty breathing. First and most important cause is anxiety disorder. Anxiety disorder is responsible on 20% of cases of difficulty breathing. So most cases, if, if we blindly say which is the most common cause of breathing difficulty, is anxiety disorder. And what is specific characteristic of anxiety disorder? Most important is excessive ongoing worry and tension, restlessness or feeling being on edge, sweating, trembling, frequent yawning, it's specific symptoms. If person says that he has frequent yawning and he worries and stress makes his breath difficult, it's anxiety disorder. And such people blood test usually normal and they saying that uh, they have feelings that they can't catch their breath or breathing through a throat uh, or this breathing difficulty uh, is triggered by stress and if we think that it's anxiety disorder we should exclude thyroid disorder and anemia because anemia and thyroid disorder especially hyperthyroidism can also cause uh, anxiety disorder like symptoms and breathing difficulty also. Another important cause of breathing difficulty is asthma. Asthma is responsible on 50% of cases of difficulty breathing. Most important symptom of asthma is shortness of breath, chest tightness, pain, whistling or wheezing sound when exhaling. So, Whistling and wheezing is not common for anxiety disorder, but frequent yawning is not common for asthma. Uh, coughing or wheezing attacks worsened by respiratory virus. So coughing is more important and dominant symptom in asthma. So if we say and if we wonder if it's anxiety disorder and asthma, coughing is important in asthma, while worrying is important in anxiety disorder. Frequent yawning is a direct uh, anxiety disorder, not, not asthma, but will, uh, whistling and wheezing uh, indicates asthma. Uh, asthma is uh, more severe in response to triggers such as exercise, cold air and allergens. Also in blood we have high eosinophils and spirometry is changed. Usually forced expiratory volume is decreased in one second and uh, first uh, forced expiratory volume in one uh, second and for uh, forced vital capacity ratio is decreased also that asthma and asthma usually reacts on bronchodilators and Asthma symptoms are reversible to bronchodilators and spirometry is measured before bronchodilators and after bronchodilators and improvement indicates asthma. And third important cause is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is also responsible on 15% of cases. And what is dominant symptom here? Dominant is coughing coughing with lots of mucus. Lots of mucus is important here. And uh, it is also called smoker's cough because such pers persons usually are smokers for years. And usually they are more than 40 years old. And uh, they have frequent respiratory infections, fatigue, need to clear the throat first when they awake in the morning. That's uh, COPD or uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and gradually and progressively worsens over time these symptoms. Sometimes they have cyanosis or uh, blueziness of lips and fingernail, uh, fingernail uh, beds that's also common especially in later stages and high level of hemoglobin, high level of hemoglobin compensatory. 
because they have less lack of oxygen in the blood so they need more hemoglobin to compensate this that's chronic obstructive pulmonary disease also other diseases also can cause um, difficulty breathing such as heart disorders and pneumonia and other different disorders but their percentage is low and that's why we're focusing anxiety asthma and chronic pulmonary disease because they are most common and if we if we if we, we if we have such patient we should exclude these three most commonly because they are most common uh, here is 30 percent 20 percent so in 50 percent is or anxiety disorder asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease so every two out of every two person uh, have anxiety disorder or asthma or chronic pulmonary disease if they have difficulty breathing chronically we did not touch um, acute uh, difficulty breathing because acute difficulty breathing usually caused by infections such as bronchitis but we we were talking about chronic chronic difficulty breathing that's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for